Welcome to the Long Run with Joel and Christy. This is this week's grocery haul, and Christy's going to give you a little background on what happened today. Um, I don't know if y'all heard about that little thing called the coronavirus. Who knew? But here in Houston, and pretty much everywhere, I think, they were really stocking up and stuff like that, and so we were, like, really concerned that we weren't going to figure out how to get this week's grocery haul in, that everything would be gone. <laughs> Because he works during the week, we only have one car, you know, you have to wait until you have, a, you know, the ability to go. So anyway, we tried a couple of different times to order online. We tried ordering Kroger and it didn't have any open spots. And then we tried to order Amazon Fresh and it didn't have any spots uh, or times available for delivery. And so then uh, we went back and we checked our order for Kroger and they had a spot open so we picked it and it was, it was for Monday night eight, between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. So anyway, one of the things that we needed this week was I needed to get a birthday card for my mom. And uh, so, you know, obviously you're going to pick that out yourself. So we thought, okay, Sunday afternoon after church, we will try to go into Walmart and try to get a um a birthday card for her and while we were in there we thought let's just go over to the grocery section and look and there was a decent amount of stuff restocked so we bought a lot of stuff there today and we took out what we bought out of the Kroger app we still have about forty dollars worth of stuff sitting in that app um, that hopefully will be available Monday night when we need it um, but these were the things that they didn't have at Walmart either so we will actually probably end up doing a second grocery haul on Thursday, which will be whatever we get at Kroger. And maybe we'll try to show a little bit of us, you know, like go like while we're getting our stuff or something like that. But um, uh, and being surprised by maybe what we actually get because we don't know what's going to be left when Monday comes around. That's, right. That's just one of the things. OK, so let's go ahead to the Walmart haul. This actually made me pretty happy because um, if you have been following my health journey, you know that my health goal was to do the AIP autoimmune protocol. And I just started it like in earnest 100% last week and I was out of produce. So, and it's a really produce heavy diet. So I was a little concerned that I was gonna have to go off of this if I didn't find produce in time. So I was pretty happy when we got over there and we found actual produce. So we have two bunches of kale, like I normally get. Um, we're gonna take a break from the produce to tell you that Joel had an impulse purchase. Yeah, what he did, did. What did he say? You got it because? Yeah, if I'm gonna be quarantined for two weeks, I'm watching, if I can't go to the movie theater, I'm watching movies here at home and I gotta have popcorn. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, he got that impulse purchase in case he gets, um, has to stay home. <laughs> uh, we have another roast in our freezer, which was good because there's probably not a roast to have. But anyway, we got brown gravy mix and onion soup mix like we normally get for that. Okay, um, I am using coconut milk for my smoothies, so that's for that. And we got some sesame oil because we have uh, stuff we could make Asian chicken and broccoli, and uh, but we just don't have sesame oil. Joel needed some more coffee. Yep. Yep. He completely used it up today, so that made his day when he found his coffee. Yep. Uh, if we are able to get a whole chicken, which we do have on our Kroger app, um, the next day we will take the leftovers and make some chicken and wild rice soup. So we went ahead and got the wild rice. All right, so now I got two zucchinis. We got some asparagus. Uh, Joel wanted some chicken and asparagus. You saute the chicken and asparagus in the same uh, pan. So very, very easy to make. Uh, I needed some more Brussels sprouts. All right, Joel was pretty stoked when he found his robin eggs. That's right, I bought them out. <laughs> he literally did. There was only four on the shelf, so sorry if anybody in the area needed robin eggs. I don't know that you need robin eggs. 
He couldn't get his normal creamer. They were out, so he got this. He, he's okay with it. So there you go. And I'm so proud of Walmart. They're finally, um, what's the word? Stocking. They're finally stocking. They're finally carrying uh, Califia Farms. And that's my favorite almond milk because it doesn't have carrageenan in it. So very good. And the price is uh, better than what you would spend at Kroger, which is usually about, it's at least, it's almost $4 unless it's on sale. Or it's already, it's four forty nine. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have a pulled pork in there and we use tomato paste and some other spices or seasonings that we already have to make the barbecue sauce. So um, we got several cans of this because we'll make it and it's so much that you need like several servings of it, of the barbecue sauce. So needed four cans of that. I needed more sweet potatoes for me, uh, one garlic bulb, and um, I wasn't real sure because what it was going to cost because they do theirs per pound, and Kroger and different stores like that do a price for each bulb, but uh, I believe it was 48 cents or something, which is pretty much in line with what we normally spend. I make uh, one of the AIP recipes that I'm making is a chicken apple patty that I use for breakfast, and you need one apple for that. And I put apple, these kind of apples, in my kale salad. So there's that. I put ginger root in my bone broth. I like a little lemon on my kale salad. And I also like to have carrots in pretty much all my dishes that goes in, in there. And uh, the new recipe I'm gonna be trying this week is mashed broccoli. And I needed broccoli for that. And I'm also gonna use one of the sweet potatoes to make the mashed broccoli. And we also needed a little bit of it for the Asian chicken and broccoli. So that's why we got all that. Now, the big behemoth, you see there? They did not have much left in the way of ground beef but let me tell you it sounds like that's a very expensive thing when you see the like you probably see it says $21.24 but per pound because it's 10 ounces that's only $2.12 per pound on the ground beef so that's an excellent deal so we're gonna actually divide these up it even has the markings for you we're gonna divide these up into 10 packs, and so we'll get like eight to 10 meals probably out of that. So there you go. We got some more dinner rolls. Joel likes to have that with a lot of his dinner meals. I needed some more bananas. And uh, another impulse purchase, because we didn't have it on the list, but it was because it was a good price, was green grapes, which that's Joel's favorites. Yeah. Um, if you notice, if you follow us for a while, you may notice that we didn't say anything about our son's stuff. He's out of town right now, so we didn't need anything for him. So uh, that's all that we have on that grocery haul, and we're going to put the total on the screen right now for you. That you enjoyed this week's grocery haul and meal plan be sure to like share and subscribe for future content and be sure to check out one of the videos that's probably scrolling on the screen right now and until next week this is christy with the long run with joel and christy bye